Hello, my name is Andy with Brighter Idea. In this video, we'll be going over how to set up unsubscribe links inside of Go High Level. Let's get started. Digital laws might differ from country to country, but almost every country states that you must have an unsubscribe link in your email. The most popular law is the US's can spam law. This legislation is enforced by the Federal Trade Commission. So what we're gonna go over today is two different ways to have that unsubscribe link set up. The first one is gonna be if you're using LC mail, the standard mail inside of high level. The second way is if you're using an outside mail provider like Mailgun. So for the first one, it's actually fairly simple. All we need to do is from the dashboard, we're gonna to go to settings on the left-hand side in the left-hand menu. From there, we'll be going to business profiles, which we're already in. You're going to scroll about halfway down the page and right here at the bottom, it's going to say make email compliant by adding an unsubscribe link in your email. Now you can reference right here on this link to see how it works. It'll open up a page that goes through everything for you. But in the meantime, this video should cover just about everything that's in there. This is the standard line that will be with every different unsubscribe link. If you, no longer want to receive these emails, you may, and then you can click customize, unsubscribe, and then the business's name. So you can change this however you like. You can change it to a different language. And this unsubscribe link you see here with the stars and the slashes, this is where the actual link is going to be. This will be the standard one that's on every single uh, page. And it's, it's very simple and it's basically already set up when you set up your account with LC Mail. Now, when you go through this, you might want to change the language or anything like that. When you do that, you got to make sure that you don't click on this, apply this change to all sub accounts if you're doing it on multiple accounts at once. I prefer just to do it on the one. It makes the most sense because if you use this, it's really the third rail. It's only for agency users and it will literally change it throughout your whole system. So you kind of want to stay away from this unless it's only your actual accounts uh, that you're dealing with. If you're comfortable, you can use it, but I prefer not to do it because I only want to use it inside this one account. And that's the very most basic way and it's ready to run. It'll work on all your different emails once you add the link. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So we're gonna hit the go back and we're gonna do it out of the marketing campaign. And in the marketing campaign, we are going to bring up an email. And I'm just gonna create a blank template just so you can see how this works. All right, I'm gonna use the design editor. And I am just going to put in a quick logo in here. So we'll just grab an image, drag it up there. I'll grab a logo by clicking on the image, clicking this pencil, upload into my media gallery. And in here, I've already got some pre-made logos that uh, I was just screwing around with. So for now, I'll just use this, your logo goes here. So all I gotta do is make sure that I double click on it and it's gonna appear. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of text. I'll grab the text, I'll drop it in here. And I'm just gonna grab some lorem ipsum text so you can see what I'm talking about. I'll just make a quick copy of this. I'll hit the pencil again. I'll choose the text that's being changed and I'll just paste it right here. But as you can see, I don't have a footer here. So we're gonna add the footer. On the left, I'll choose the footer and I'll drop it in right there. Now this already has the unsubscribe link on there and this will work immediately. But let's just say that you have a pre-custom made footer. I'll pretend like it's in here. I'll hit the return key a couple times. And then from here, I'm gonna go over to this link here which says custom values. I'll click it, I'll scroll down to email and I'll choose unsubscribe link and it's gonna drop it in right there. And that's where the link will appear. Now that link will be the link to unsubscribe and it'll happen instantly and it's completely compliant after that. Next, I'm gonna show you how to build a funnel to do almost exactly the same thing, how to build your own unsubscribe link. So what we'll do from the funnels area on the left-hand side after you've clicked sites is click on new funnel. And we are gonna name this unsubscribe. I'll hit create. 
and I'll need two pages. But before I make the pages, I need to first create the form. So I'm going to go to the builder right here, the form builder, and I'm going to click add form. I'm going to start it from scratch. I'll hit create. And as you can see, there's already form built out here for me. Normally I would use this straight away, but we don't need all this information. So I'm going to rename it unsubscribe form. I'm going to get rid of this name. I'm going to get rid of the phone number and leave just the email. And I don't need this text right here. And we're going to leave the privacy policy in terms of service links here. You're going to want to link those normally later on. We're going to leave the email and just in case I'm also going to put the name in here also. So I'll just grab the name, drop it right here on top, and then I'll click on the button and I'll put in the word unsubscribe. And we've made our form. I'll hit save and that's ready to go. Now I'm going to go back to the funnel. I'll hit the back button over here. I'll go to funnels. I'll go to unsubscribe and I'll start creating my pages. I'll click add new step and I'm literally just going to call it unsubscribe. And then the path will be exactly the same. Just paste it right there. I'll put a slash in front and I'll click create funnel step. Now I'm not going to make the thank you page just yet because I'm really just going to clone it. So I'm going to click create from blank. I'll drag in the first section, which is full width. I'll add a row. I'll add a column. I'll add an element. I'm going to go down to images, drag that in, click on it, scroll down to image options, double click on my logo. You know what? It's a little big, so I'm going to make it a smaller right here. And what I like to do when I start building these pages continuously is I always continuously hit save just in case anything happens as you're building the page. So I click save and I'll do that over and over again. I'll hit the plus sign. I'll drag in a headline. I'll title it unsubscribe. I'll hit the plus sign again. Click on subheadline. I'm going to click into here and just type in sorry to see you go. You don't technically need to type anything in there, but it's a nice thing to do. And then I'll hit the plus sign again, and this time I'm going to choose form. And then I'll select my form. Obviously, I'm going to choose my unsubscribe form. And there it'll be on the page. And then I'll want to build a footer and maybe do anything else to make the page prettier, or I can literally just leave it like this because my privacy policy is here and my terms of service is here. After I've done this, I then need to link this to the next step. So I click on the form and on the right hand side, I choose next step because the next step is the thank you page, which will give them confirmation that they've unsubscribed. I'll hit save. From there, I'm going to hit my back button and we're going to clone the funnel step. I'll go to publishing and I'm going to change this to thank you. And I'll leave this word unsubscribe here and just change this to thank you. And click update step. It's literally a clone page. It's exactly the same. But what we're going to do is we're going to change the content inside of it. And our thank you page is made. We'll click on overview. We'll click edit. I'll get rid of the form. And I'm going to change this text to you are unsubscribed. And I'll just get rid of the title because we don't need it anymore. And I'll hit save. Now, if this was for real, I would make sure that I published each one of these pages to make sure that they were done. And lastly, of course, we would attach a domain to the page. So we would go to settings and we would choose a domain from the drop down. We don't have a domain on this account because this is a test account, but rest assured it would be there. So the next thing that we need to do is we would need to grab the link to show this page on all of our emails. For demonstration purposes, what I'm going to do is a little different. I'm going to just click on this view page 
and I'm gonna grab this link. But normally I would not do this. Normally I would have the domain, it would say domain slash unsubscribe. I'd copy it from there. And then I would use that as the link. I'm gonna go back to marketing. I'm gonna go back into that email that we were creating. I'm gonna add text again. Then I'd add a footer. And I would go over to where it says unsubscribe from this list. And actually, I don't like the words from this list, so I would actually just delete it and just have the word unsubscribe. And then I'm going to click on this link and I'm going to click this link text right here. And I'm going to replace this with my new link. Now, again, my link would be whatever my .com is, my domain.com slash unsubscribe. And then I'll click save. And now I have the unsubscribe link, but we are not done because the most important part of this is we've got to make an automation to actually make this all work. So I would have clicked on save my template and now I'd have my link. And I would have to add this by the way, to every single email in all my automations, in all my newsletters and so forth. So this is a really good reason to use the LC email because it just happens automatically. But if we have to do it the hard way, this is the way that we have to do it. Anyway, I'm gonna hit the back button. And normally that wouldn't be there because again, we're not saving this, this is for test purposes. But I'm gonna go into automation. I'm gonna click create workflow, start from scratch. I'm gonna call this unsubscribe. You can name it whatever you like. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a new trigger and I'm gonna type in form. It's going to be form submitted. I'll add a filter and I'll select the form is and choose unsubscribe and save the trigger. After I've done that, I'll hit the plus sign. And I want to add a couple tags to this. The main tag that I want to do is unsubscribe. So I'll just type in tag and I'm going to add a contact tag and I'll type in the word unsubscribe. Now, I actually happen to have that already built in here, but if it's not there, you can just type out the word and click add new tag. So I'm just gonna choose the one that I already have there and click save action. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a DND. A DND means do not disturb. So I'll hit the plus sign, I'll type in DND, and I'll enable the DND by clicking on this link, choosing enable DND, and I really do want to do it for all channels because if they've unsubscribed to the email, they probably don't want to be reached by text and we want to make sure that we stay as compliant as possible. So I'm going to choose DND for all channels and I'll hit save action. Now I'll publish it on the right hand side and hit save. And I've successfully created an unsubscribe workflow to go with my unsubscribe landing page, my unsubscribe form, and now I am in complete compliance so that whenever a person unsubscribes from my email list, I won't be emailing them anymore. If you like this video and you like what we're doing here, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.